Hello everyone. I'll take a question from you. Idan, you've won tournament MVP in both the FIBA U17 World Cup and the FIBA U18 European Championship. And now you've got the Spanish U19 team on the cusp of an undefeated World Cup run. Is there anything the United States and their star player MP can do to slow you down? No. Can you elaborate on that? I have been the best player at the international level since I was 16 years old. You got MP a star, but he hasn't won anything in his real competition. He is overrated. Those are bold words. We are going to win the championship on Friday, and everyone will see that Spain has the best young basketball players in the world. Hey, yo, y'all get a good look at this. MP, you gonna let him talk to you like this? Man, what you want me to do, fight, buddy? <laughs> I mean, I would. What? I mean, guys like our monster, man, they always trying to get under your skin. The last thing you want to do is let them know you're upset. You know what I mean? I guess so. Nah, I don't like it. Cat too young to be that cocky. I don't know, man. He nice. He earned it. But the only way to shut down somebody like that is to stay locked in and win. Everything else is wasted energy. <laughs> you already know, man. If you, if you say so. Oh. You guys can fit just more. Let's go, man. Yep. 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 Have you ever heard the Spanish national anthem? It's beautiful, one of the oldest in the world. You'll hear it tomorrow when they give us the trophy. I think you will like it. Very catchy. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, when you guys get up there, I'll introduce you one by one, then open it up for questions. Mm -hmm. Friendly reminder, there are reporters from 27 countries in this room. So whatever you say will be heard around the world. Mm -hmm. Understood. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Looks like they're ready for you. How are we feeling? Fired up. Fantastic, let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna get started with Team USA's press availability. Representing Team USA will be Tim Fielder, Brandon George, and of course, MP. What's let's start up? with you, Edith. Edith Bauer, Sport Monatlich. I was wondering if you've had a chance to watch Spain's press conference from yesterday, specifically Ivan Almanza's comment that MP is overrated and hasn't won anything against real competition. Yeah, I saw it. Any thoughts? I feel like he sounds silly, like he don't know what he's talking about. If I haven't won against any real competition, how are we undefeated heading into the finals? I'm beating the same teams that he's beating, but for me, I guess it doesn't count. You know, how am I overrated when I'm averaging more points than him? Why is our offense averaging more points than any team in this tournament? Why have I won championships on every level of competition that I've faced? Club, league, state, and now FIBA. Well, in all fairness, you haven't won a FIBA championship yet. He is on the cusp of a second. That's fine. I've been in school the past few years. But I'm here now, though, and I'm the best player in this tournament. The numbers show it, the tapes show it. He can do all that talking that he's doing running his mouth, but I'm gonna let my game do the talking for me. Well, fair enough. Yo, I ain't done talking yet. Please, continue. We're gonna win tomorrow. We're bringing the gold home to the states where it belongs. Guaranteed. Let's go, y'all. Since this thing started, this is the matchup everybody anticipated and has been waiting for. These two teams head and shoulders above the rest, and we're talking winner take all in this showdown. A look at what the U.S. will start with in the backcourt. It's George at the one, with MP playing next to him. Anthony gets the nod at small forward, and underneath we'll see Bab and Barton. And you take a look at the starting lineup for Spain. You have McGuire and Calderon in the backcourt. Out on the wing, it'll be Sabalos. Next to him, the star of the team, Almansa at the four, and Fernandez bringing it all together as the center. Here is Aguirre. 
Following the basket by MP. Pass to Almansa. A three ball. It's hauled in by USA. And as you mentioned, both Spain and the U.S. are undefeated coming into the final. Both a perfect 6-0 through the group stages and the knockout round. Craig, this is going to be a beauty. Yeah, and the reality is neither has been challenged thus far. But with the championship on the line, we couldn't have asked for a more perfect matchup. And you know what, Brent? Something that has stood out all tournament long. The leadership role that MP has stepped into. Well, since the opening jump ball, Kevin, this guy has been the alpha dog for the U.S. That says a lot. He sets the tone, and he says what needs to be said. That's what Aguirre does. He makes things happen, that time by dishing it. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Lopez against MP. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. MP's got six. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Pass to Lucas. Here's Almanza. Front pass the arc. And it's MP with the rebound. All right, Greg, one matchup to watch. Barton and Fernandez going at each other at that center position. Both of those players have huge size and command such a presence. They play so similar and both have a relentless style to attack the paint. They get it again. Mendoza, count it. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Here's MP. A shot's good on the assist by George. George has got three assists in the game. Outside, Aguirre. Inside. Here's Lucas. Almost, but it rolls out. MP against Lopez. And Barton throws it down. And this is who Barton is capable of being an absolute wrecking ball in the paint. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. And Craig, the way that Aguirre can navigate the floor, he is as elusive as they come. And he has a great sense of how to set his teammates up. So much of Spain's offense comes from Aguirre's ability to create out of thin air. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Gets it to go. An MP already into double digits in the first half. He has certainly come out with passion to start this game. Here is Aguirre. Following the basket by MP. Pass to Almansa. It's good! What a cool and collected start from Almansa. Still the first half, and he's already in double digits for scoring. Myers. Second chance effort. Campbell shots good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye open. Now, Spain with it. Well, everybody in the world heard about those barbs that Almanza and MP threw back and forth at each other. I mean, elevated. It was almost like a wrestling match. But a lot of bulletin board material going into this game to hype it up. Almanza called MP overrated, and MP guaranteed a win. So one of the two stars is going to have a plate full of crow to snack on after this one. So it's Spain now, following the three-pointer by USA. Pass to Almanza, puts up a three. MP grabs the miss. And so MP will bring it up for USA. Makes that one his sixth of the night, shooting a very healthy six for nine. Despite his youth, MP showing grown man strength. They need this, and he's good on the three ball. Almanza's got 14 points for the game. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. MP getting it done for USA. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. Championship game for the under-19s here. Second quarter getting started. And even though, Brent, Almanza isn't in the NBA, 
said he has been at the pro levels in Europe for quite some time. Since early in his career, he's been playing against grown men. When you're 16, 17, that is, that is huge in your experience and your development. Almanza ready for anything. For three, Fernandez. It's all in by USA. Coleman, the pass to Myers. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. What heart by MP going through contact there and converting. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for USA. Uh, they've been so aggressive, going strong at the defense, looking to score off of that penetration. Now getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. Almanza with the bucket. He's got 16. And for all of the concerns and all the chatter that was out there of whether or not MP could step up for the U.S., those things have been put to bed. And, and a lot of folks viewed this tournament as MP's first real test. Well, he's passed it with flying colors with the performances he's had. Holderone dishes to Garcia. Beautiful. Substitution on the court. And Fernandez kicks to Garcia. Tries a three. They get a bet. The kick out to Lopez. Good on the three-point shot. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. The three from MP. Aguirre grabs the miss. And in terms of prospects, Almanza is as polished as they get. He is game ready on day one. And he's such a fluid finisher, especially for his size. There isn't any weakness to his game. Gives you everything you could want from that position. And the big question for MP is going to be work ethic. Because if he can put in the sweat, there's no reason he can't be a star in this league. And USA making a change here. Hansen's checked in. Outside, Aguirre. Six to shoot. Over George. It's hauled in by MP. MP's got four rebounds now tonight. That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Here's Mendoza. Comes up empty down low. And Sean Babb for this USA squad is a guy you got to squeeze because he's the glue that keeps them together. And the ability to facilitate and create out of the post or elbow critical. Babb has great court awareness and helps the U.S. get the looks they want. Pass to Almanza. Launches a three. It's hauled in by USA. And you can see the fire that both MP and Almanza are playing with. You know what, Brent? Neither of them getting an edge so far. They haven't been forcing shots for themselves in a relatively equal in scoring. I wouldn't be surprised if that changes in the second half. Here's Mendoza. And the shot by Almanza, no good. Here comes MP, and it's good. He's made two for every one he's missed. Ten of 15 in the contest. And well, MP sensed his opportunity and did not hold back on the drive. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Lopez. That's in there. Coming off the assist from McGuire. McGuire's got three assists now in this one. 109 left here in the second. Lopez against MP. Rebound by Garcia. Spain trails by seven. Here's Almanza. 
trains the three-pointer. El Monsa's got 19 points. That's one of the best three-point shooters. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. Here's Myers. It's blocked. And so it looks like it's still a USA's ball. And USA making a change here. Martin has checked in. Lucas has checked in for Spain. MP, no good. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Aguirre passes to Lucas. To the middle. Here's Almansa. It's hauled in by USA. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Inside, MP gets it. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. USA ahead, leading by six. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Welcome back, everyone, to our coverage of the Under-19 title game with the second half on the way. Well, Brent, tonight, no greater example of how global the game of basketball has become. Well, Spain has especially embraced the sport, but all over Europe, basketball is ingrained in the sporting culture. The NBA ecstatic about how things have taken off across the pond. And now Spain on the break. Here's Almansa. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds as Spain keeps possession. Three from the inbound. Spain again can't hit. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Here's Almansa. Shot clock reset for Spain. A three from Aguirre. Sinks the three-pointer. So many ways that Aguirre can beat you. That's just one of them there. USA leading by five. The last time the USA squad won this tournament was in 2021. We went all the way when France was the host. And you can see some of those similarities between that team and this one. Even with their recent success, you know Team USA expects nothing short of a championship. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. The drive by MP. USA moving the ball around. There's the pick. Takes the 13-footer. Offensive rebound. Beyond the arc. Spain grabs the miss. Mendoza's got his fourth rebound in this one. For the tie. And the layup is good. Lucas has got it all tied up now for Spain. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the button. And good that time. MP's got 29. More points for MP, and you just think about the possibilities of this young player moving forward. He is something. Aguirre against George. Lopez from long range. Rebounded by Hansen. Hansen's got four rebounds in this game. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. How about MP showing some toughness there, accepting the contact on the way up. For USA, they've gone three for three at the line tonight. And he's good on the second. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Outside, Aguirre. Here's Lopez, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting... USA calls time here. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here, and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. So it's Spain now, trailing by four. Pass to Almansa. Calderon with it. With 
puts it up from 17. Sabalos gets the bucket. Sabalos has got his first points in this one. Now we all know shooting and defense are keys for the international game. That's why Tim Fielder has been so important for the U.S. Well, he does both things at such a high level. A very sticky defender, and you can't sag off of him on drives on the offensive end. This guy helps spread the floor, contributes in a lot of ways. The drive by MP. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. And he makes both free throws. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. USA leads by two. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And we are down to just one more quarter of play between Spain and the U.S. for tonight's under-19 title game. Here's MP. And what an absolutely lovely city hosting this final. Grant, I know you've enjoyed it as much as me. Depression Hungary, our location this evening. And the culture that this city has sitting in the Great Plains of Hungary. Some incredible museums can be found here. What a tremendous experience this has been. Pass to Almansa. Kicks it out to Garcia. Trains it from beyond the arc. Garcia's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And guys, as soon as you start going over and through a rebounder, you're probably going to get whistled for over the back. Yeah, energy is good, but not smart there trying to go through somebody on that play. Hansen's checked in for Gordon. Almanza, and he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Well, if you're the USA team, there's one guy outside you have to watch. That is Edgar Calderon. You know, Brent, he has been one of the best outside shooters all tournament long. Can knock down the three with the best of them. You know, Brent, all game long, we've seen MP getting what he wants on offense. And I see the smile on your face. You love the way he plays. Clearly outplaying Almanza. And this is exactly what Almanza should have been afraid of. MP is cooking him and looks anything but overrated. Here's MP. Good, MP is playing with a chip on his shoulder. 30-point night for him when his country has needed him the most. Now, here's Calderon. Here's Almansa. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Almansa's got six here in this quarter. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. Calderon passes to Sabalos. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. When you think about a six foot, 10 inch small forward, Sabalos length, that causes some major matchup problems. He doesn't get the second one. To Mendoza. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And Burton throws it down. Smart pass by MP. Great to see a young player making the right decisions with the ball. Spain trails by three. Here's Almansa. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. He yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. Lucas has checked in for Spain. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for USA? I like this throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high-percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. 
And something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. And these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high percentage looks, getting out there on the fast break. Knocks down the three ball. That's what you get out of George. He loves to create. Spain trails by three. Here's Almanza. This one for three. It's hauled in by USA. Barton's got four rebounds now tonight. Knocked loose, and so it looks like it's still a USA's ball. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Lucas looking for an opening. Pass to Almanza. What a performance from Almanza. He's shown his experience with a 30-point performance in the championship game. One twenty-two left in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Outside for George. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. After committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Almanza. I miss that time. Would have put him up. Plenty of drama in this one so far. Yeah, don't be surprised if it isn't decided until the final buzzer. Myers. Good. <laughs> the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. Timeout called here. Spain decides to talk it over. Here's Almanza. Shoots over Burton. MP grabs the miss. And so MP will bring it up for USA. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Campbell kicks to George. Inside, here's Myers. Can't hit that one. Points are an absolute must here. Can't come away empty. That would be the nail in the coffin. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting him rip. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Second team foul. And he commits the intentional foul. Third personal foul. Third team foul. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. Fourth team foul. And so they foul intentionally. Spain making a switch here. Gets the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. All eyes on MP. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a five-point game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Calderon for three. And the final seconds now. Just a formality. What a show. And what a series. He hits the first one. And that increases their lead to six. And he is unable to get the second one. And as the final seconds dwindle down, these players showing emotion. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws 
than the ones that are going to seal the game. And there it is. The USA gets it done. And they win the Under-19 Championship with a perfect 7-0 record. Brent, what an incredible tournament for him. Well, if you talk about a complete team, that was this USA group. Dominant on both ends of the floor. And they came together at the right time to cap off this historic run. You said it, Brent. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was overrated now, man. Still you. Uh, come on, you did your thing, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, enjoy my anthem, man. 